and welcome to another episode of EPMS Tech Talk. I'm Joanne LaFlam. I'm Chris Costa. Chris, what would you like to talk about today? Well, I thought we could talk a little bit about what happens when someone wants to maybe add another module or add additional users uh, for additional user licenses. Uh, we talked in the last video about how to initially register the program, mm -hmm. but what happens when they want to buy additional assets from then on? Okay, makes sense. Let's go take a look. Okay. Great. All right, well, you would do that under the module registration. This is under the utilities menu. So you'd open up the module registration. And as you notice, this, use, this module registration screen used to have uh, a number, a long code beside each of the different modules here. Now we've changed this, and instead of having the number, you'll see either active or inactive, depending on whether that module is a module that you own. So you'll no longer have to come here and enter a long number. It also keeps track up here of how many user licenses that you have. So if you've bought more licenses or you've added an additional module, all you'll have to do is hit the register button at the bottom of the screen, and you'll enter your email address. And this needs to be the same email address that you log into our support site with. So you'll enter that here. And then you'll click on the Register Enterprise Online Now. Mm -hmm. And what that will do is that'll go up to our server, and it will check the modules that you own, the number of license that, licenses that you own, and then it will come back and update your database with that information. Perfect. Okay. okay. So when we come back here, we see that we've successfully registered it. And any new modules that I had purchased would now have, say, active instead of inactive. It would have updated, if I had purchased more licenses, it would, would have updated that number here. The other thing, most of these modules, the main modules that um, get installed with Enterprise when you install it initially. Mm -hmm. So you've already got the files, so as long as they're active now, you'll be able to launch them right from Enterprise. Mm -hmm. um, you'll just have to go into the user manager and set individual user rights for whoever you want to give access to those modules and whatever access that sure. needs to be. Makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Um, for the interfaces, though, things like print talk, email, the credit card processing, UPS address validation, FRB Connect, all of those are actual interfaces. They don't come with the main install, so you would have to contact us to get an install file for those. Okay. Okay. All right. Makes sense. Yeah. Yep. Do you have any other questions? No, I think that was good. Well, thank you. Thank you. And thank you for joining us for another episode of EPMS Tech Talk. I'm Joanne LaFlam. I'm Chris Costa. Please look forward for more to come.